Now we're going to take a look at the different display management tools available in the console. First thing is to look at display tab navigation. There are several ways to open new tabs on your element console. You can double tap one of the many record targets, such as sub, press sub sub to open our submaster page, or group group will open our group list display. Another way to open a tab is to click the add a tab or the plus sign next to the existing tabs and you'll get a list of all the available tabs you can open. So here we'll open our effects tab, for example. Once you have all the tabs open that you need, there are ways to rearrange them. So with the tab selected, which you'll notice there's a gold box around this tab here, I can hold down my tab button and use my page right or page left arrows to move it between my monitors. I can also press the tab button once to switch to the next tab and again to the next tab and so forth. And that will go through all tabs on both monitors. I can also open a specific display by using the tab number. So each tab has a number that is permanently associated with it. For example, patch is 12. So I can hold down tab and type in 12 and let go of tab and my patch screen will open. I can always push live or blind to go back to my main display. Keep in mind that as I'm flipping through tabs, if I go into a blind tab, which is many of the displays and lists, then the console is now in blind mode. So be careful of that before you start editing your cues again. So to close a tab, I can select the tab that I want to get rid of, and I can press the escape key, or I can right click on a tab and it will give me a few options. I can close it. I can replace it with a different tab. I can choose to close all tabs except this one or close all tabs. Do note that tabs one and two, which is our live display and our playback status display can never be closed. To close all tabs on one screen, I can press shift tab. To close all tabs except one and two, I can press shift tab tab. This gear icon down in the far left of all the tabs also gives me a couple of options here. So I can say I want to open new tabs in this frame. So anytime that I open a new tab, it will default to that frame. I can also lock a frame, which will prevent me from moving existing tabs into that frame.